It's been said that Utah's trails are America's trails. This statement implies more than just dirt roads passing into the distance. They are ribbons of adventure winding through landscapes that give the word iconic its very meaning. For those who venture out onto these diverse and rugged paths, there is much to be discovered, both in beauty and self-reflection. Your perspective on the entire world can change once you've looked down on it from an inaccessible perch. This is what 4x4 enthusiasts are after every time they set out over rock and stone. For them, the trips into the unknown are only made better when you add two things, a challenge and a friend or two by your side. This is one reason enormous get-togethers have sprung up throughout the West. But if America's trails are truly in Utah, there's only one place for America to come, and only one event this time of year that invites them all out. This is the Winter 4x4 Jamboree. It's an all-new event. Uh, a lot of people who have helped put on other events down there are putting it on this year, and it's going to be an absolute great event. It's great times to get together and, and have some fun and, and see some sights, and, and there's absolutely beautiful views down there. And also some good trails. Uh, from Some of them are hard, some of them are easy. There's some fantastic trails down there, mild to wild. Some of the wildest trails I've seen are in this area. And that area is basically the whole of St. George. Staging out of the fairgrounds in Hurricane, the Winter 4x4 Jamboree takes riders on trails through the red rocks, up sand dunes, and through canyons that will squeeze your rig and pinch your nerves. Many of the trips center around Sand Hollow State Park and the plethora of terrain that exists here. The park opened in April of 2003 and since then has become a playground for not only boats, but ATVs and Jeeps from across the West. The Jamboree is focusing on the park for more reasons than just the rocks and sand, though. A shadow looms over these dunes that local off-road clubs are looking to address. Proceeds from it are going to go help uh, to fight the land grab down there for uh, Sand Hollow. There's a, a gentleman down there that has owned some land that is in a proposed habitat area. There's a land swap involved with the BLM that they now want to take away a fair amount of our riding area that is established in the Sand Hollow and Sand Mountain recreation area. That land was put aside as an OHV play area down there by the federal government, and it needs to stay an OHV play area. The land access battles have been a little quiet over the last maybe couple of years, but there are a few proposals, this being maybe the first salvo. Our political activism will, would be very valuable for this particular issue in addition to future issues that will come up. With that in mind, Jamboree participants are encouraged to explore these areas in depth, being as how in the future they could become private property. The hope remains that with enough voices behind them, event organizers can help facilitate a land swap that will be beneficial to everyone involved while keeping access to these lands open for everyone. These trails are America's trails after all, and if public lands are to stay that way, every user needs to appreciate what would be lost if nothing was done to preserve them. The Winter 4x4 Jamboree will be held January 23rd and 24th in Hurricane, Utah. 13 different trails are on the docket for exploration with guides ready to take riders anywhere their skills will let them. There is still time to register and help not only keep many of these routes open, but to enjoy a beautiful challenge with a few hundred friends. Winter4x4Jamboree.com is where you go sign up. It's going to be a blast. We've got some great sponsors. We're going to be giving away a set of BF Goodrich tires down there. So it's a great time to get out, chance to get out, try out your rig before Easter Jeep Safari. Great people down there, great community, a lot of vertical climbs, a lot of technical trails for four wheel drives. But at the same time, if you just want a nice vista, that's a great avenue as well. There is nothing like the crimson lands of Southern Utah. These trails really do belong to every American. It's our legacy here, and it's worth keeping open. Now remember, the Winter 4x4 Jamboree is coming up just in a couple of weeks. Again, January 23rd and 24th. You can sign up at winter4x4jamboree.com. We hope to see you there. Well, I'm Stephen Hewen from Sand Hollow. We need to take a commercial break, but when we come back, Darren Kinder is taking out the brand new 2015 Summit Snowmobile. Is it worth the price tag? They'll have all the details. Hey guys, if you like that video, you're going to want to watch all of our other AYL videos. You're going to want to like it, you're going to want to share it, and you're going to want to subscribe. Right? See all the buttons right here? <laughs> this is what you're going to want to do, click, right? Click, click, click. on them, because we have some really cool videos, all kinds of behind-the-scenes stuff, bloopers of Alicia crashing and stuff. Why are you going to 
just sell me out like that, Steven? So you want to click all of these things and subscribe to our channel because At Your Leisure is awesome. And uh, we'll see you here for more videos.